comes to dirty talk, I find that it tends to fall into specific categories. First are single words. Yes. Mmm. Oh, fuck. Oh. More. Harder. Slower. Oh, ho, ho. Any single sound or word kind of falls under this category. This category is for emphasis. Yes. There. Please. It really is impactful and dynamic, and it kind of cuts right through because that single word really is like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. I mentioned in an earlier segment that pacing is very important. Pacing is how fast or slow you're communicating and using dirty talk with your partner. Keep in mind that if you're saying yes, 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 it's not very effective. One yes is going to do the trick here, friends. Maybe two or three for, oh, yes, yes, yes. I want to say that Letter Kenny did a whole segment about this. And really, they explained it phenomenally, phenomenally well. The one to three yeses, good pacing, very hot. Seven to 27, no. Stop while you're ahead. That's too many yeses. No, 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 no. Speaking of other types of dirty talk, that brings us to action phrases. Tell me what you want. Where do you want me to stick it? How do you want it? Kiss me deeply. Spank me. Slap me. Kiss me hard. Wrap your fingers around my neck and tell me how beautiful I am. That really is going to inspire action, which is one of the reasons why we may choose to use dirty talk, inspiring action. Be direct. Just tell your partner what you really, really want. It's the easiest way to get what you're looking for, using your words. I have bad news. I'm not a mind reader. And you're probably not a mind reader either. Therefore, we have to be kind to our partners and make sure that we are communicating clearly. Another way to very clearly communicate with our partner is through praise phrases. You're so hot. You're beautiful. I love your tits. I love your cock. Mmm, that looks incredible. Not only does this inspire, but... It boosts confidence, too. I mean, don't you want to hear about just how much your partner can't wait to have you and how turned on they are by looking at your body? Like, that's still dirty talk. Like, you are talking all about that stuff that certainly would not be polite for dinner table conversation. But it doesn't feel perhaps as raunchy as the dirty talk we hear in porn. I find that using praise phrases is a really great way to start practicing using that dirty talk and bringing it into the bedroom if it's something you're a little bit uncomfortable with or, uh, or new to. Another really good situation and phrasing that can be useful is uh, pleading phrases. Rather than telling your partner what to do, which is kind of dominant, we might instead beg our partner for it. Please, I need you more. Oh, don't stop. Oh, gosh, please. Oh, don't slow down. Oh, please. Very different energy. Some of the language may sound the same, but we're positioning it very differently. We're pleading with our partner and creating a space for them to deny and tease and take their time, which opens up another new realm of possibilities. Language is wonderful for doing this. It allows you to explore different depths of play, kink, pleasure, etc. All just through saying different things and changing how you say them. Hey friends, 
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll choose to join me live for Coffee with Alice at 10.30 a.m. PST each and every Thursday. Make sure to like this video and then subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. This way, you'll find out each and every time I go live and you'll never miss any new content. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.